Africans. Yeah, I want to speak to Kenyans. And Kenyans must take strong action. Leaders were elected to represent them, to oversight and to legislate. In fact, we are few of us here because three quarters of the members of the house are disgusted and they are asking themselves even why they need to be in that house. Actually, they are just sitting along the corridor. They are so annoyed as to why they voted that Linturi must be brought to books. And then just to come today, and then we are being told that because of the select committee, their report is final. It is quite a dictatorship point of view that we reject and we condemn. Number two, I want to say that farmers are suffering. We are just experiencing floods. And even our agricultural produce is going to be completely down. Farmers suffered before the disaster of floods. And the situation is pathetic. I was so encouraged when C.S. Linturi once mentioned that he's ready to speak the truth. Why couldn't he be given the chance to speak the full truth? I saw him testifying. He was supposed to be given time to speak the truth and not to say that the select committee has reported and that is final. My number two, this select committee who was elected, even on that day it was on post, and we, we were being advised, some people were advising, misadvising, not advising, that the moment we reject the select committee, it means that the case will go for free and C.S. Linturi will go untouched. Based on that, the, 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 the house of the floor allowed them to proceed. We did not know, little did we know, that they were going to produce a shoddy report. I'm advocating that this is a select committee which must not be selected any other time to represent the Kenyans. It is a shame, it is disgusting, and we're not tolerating it. Finally, bringing the case back is not an issue. C.S. Linturi had somebody who is called accounting officer. That is the, 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 the permanent secretary. He had procurement officers. There is nothing wrong with auditing their role in this because CS implements the policy. If he failed in taking charge of implementing the policy and looking into the methodology and the framework of ensuring that the farmer gets the fertilizer, on that case he failed. And we are saying that the procurement team, the permanent secretary now, must be brought to book. We don't want jokes in Kenya. The jokes which are happening in Kenya are far beyond and we are not going to tolerate it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mimi ningependa kuhuzunika kama mkenya ni kiungana na wakenya ambaye watauzunika kulingana na kile kimetendeka leo bungeni. Sisi kama wabunge, wengi walikataa ya kuwa linturi lazima ende nyumbani. Kwa kuwa alifanya ujambazi kwa wakulima. Na katika hilo hali, baada ya kuipitisha ya kuwa wakwende nyumbani, kukatokea kikao ambaye ilichaguliwa watu saba. Hawa watu saba, wakaenda, na tumesikia fununu kila mmoja wa hawa ambao walitoka upande wa Kenya kwanza wamepewa milioni tano. Na ninaomba uchunguzi ufanyike. Uchunguzi ufanyike kwa sababu milioni tano kulingana na ile pesa mkulima amepitia kiaribu mazao yake kupewa fertilizer bandia ni uchungu kwa wakenya. Sisi kama wabunge moja ya kazi yetu ni oversight. Na tumefanya oversight na tukaufanya uchunguzi tukaona huyu anafaa kwenda nyumbani. Naye anarudishwa hapa kupitia mikono ya watu saba. Ni kumaanisha ya kuwa, hakuna haja kuwa mbunge, hakuna haja tulipwe mshahara, hakuna haja ushuri yenu itumika kwa tulipa mshahara, bunge livunjo, hatuna kazi, hatuna faida kwenye bunge hili. Haina maana kabisa na niuzuni. Na tunaambia watu wa Kenya kwanza, munaweza kuwa wabingwa siku ya leo, lakini kiama ipo. Mwenyezi mungu anona kile munafanya mkulima hambaye ana uweza wa wote. Na nawakumbusha kiama ipo na siku ya kiama, mutalia na fertilizer kama mbebeba vichia unuyenu. Kenyan to come for them. Kenyan to come for the select committee. First of all, I'm one person who believes that um, the constitution should not be read selectively. The select committee of 11 is actually a committee of the, whole, of the house. It's a creation of the house. The framers of the constitution would not have wished to have a, a system where a committee of the whole house becomes more powerful than the plenary itself. And so I believe that the report of the committee must be the report of the House. And in that case, seven members cannot overrule a vote where 149 members voted in favor of impeachment of one mythical injury. It does not make sense. It does not make sense that we can have a system where seven members 
sit somewhere and come up with a decision to render all the evidence that was presented to the house as unsubstantiated without even giving the house an opportunity to interrogate and agree with them and then that it becomes final. That could not have been the intention of the 2010 constitution. If you look at the procedures or the proceedings in the Senate, anytime there is an impeachment, the Senate has an option of either forming a committee or hearing the, witness or the, 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 uh, the accused in the presence of the whole house. We don't have that opportunity. My understanding is that this committee was supposed to do a report to the House to consider. And that is what the Speaker should have ruled, in my view. Now, finally, in terms of morality, Honorable Tiendi Amolo has raised a very serious and substantive matter on the floor of the House, which, in my view, should have not been brushed aside. Actually, since I came to this House, this is the closest that we have come to where a, a member has clearly and directly mentioned members of a committee for having been compromised in the process of executing its mandate. And therefore the Speaker should have stopped any other deliberation on this matter and dealt with that matter conclusively. Because as it is, the matter is left hanging, is left for speculation, and the entire House will stand indicted for a case where maybe only seven members have been compromised to water down a report that should have set a precedent in this country. It is a shame, and I want to speak to those members, the seven members, and their constituents are watching. This fake fertilizer that was supplied across the country went to almost all constituencies. The farmers have lost millions and millions of shillings. Your member of parliament has agreed that it doesn't matter whether you Get fake fertilizer or not, it doesn't matter. What matters is his own satisfaction, expediency, interest, whether compromised or not. It is a shame, and those members of parliament who have exonerated Linturi, the electorate should be watching and should deal with them. Exactly. Finally, I want to ask that this matter should not end today. We must again have this process Restarted. I have heard people say that, it should, that, that, uh, that we will not have it again. No, there is nothing in law that exactly. stops us from restarting the process of removing.